My name is Colonel Benjamin Alvin Drew, Jr. I grew up in Washington, D.C. When I was growing up, if you look in any of my textbooks, any of my notebooks, you'll find the margins filled with doodles of airplanes, jets, rockets. If it left the surface of the Earth and went somewhere else on an adventure, it was probably going to fill my imagination. If you weren't going to go to college, then you would go into the service. And for me, I didn't actually want to choose between the two, so I tried to do both. My experience in the Air Force is that your competency and your character count, and almost nothing else does beyond that. If you are willing to work hard enough to go do the things necessary to get where you want to go, you can get there. I was flying helicopters in special operations, applied to become a test pilot. I got into the test pilot program. Every two years, using NASA has a levy for astronauts, and every two years, test pilots and test engineers apply to become astronauts. So in about the year 2000, uh, I applied to become an astronaut and got accepted. Looking back 11 years later, no, I had no clue as to the magnitude of how, how much life would change. The type of training that goes into the shuttle mission, I describe it as not being very much different than training to be a, in a dance troupe. The very first of any mission is the choreography. What moves are you going to make and when are you going to do them? Once you have the choreography down, practice, 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 and then practice some more finally comes showtime. And you've got one showing before the curtain closes, so you've got to make it all count. I don't know if there's anything that can prepare you for leaving the Earth the way you do in a space shuttle. About 10 seconds out, the shuttle main engines ignite. The best way to describe it is like 10 million subwoofers stampeding up that shuttle stack, and they ultimately engulf you. You get shoved back into your seat, and you are leaving the pad. You don't know if you're going into space, but you know you are not sitting at that launch pad anymore. I had about eight and a half minutes. We were about 100 miles up, going about 17,500 miles an hour, and the engines cut off. So I went from being pressed into my seat at 3Gs to being weightless. Being one of those kids who wanted to become an astronaut and actually growing up to be an astronaut is a surreal experience. When opportunity knocks at your door, it's sometimes a scary thing. It'd be easier thing to do would, would be to simply go off and do something that seems more realistic. Don't be realistic. Don't be reasonable. Be bold, be courageous in following that dream. Everyone takes a certain amount of courage to step across that threshold and into that new adventure.